scary we are back i hope you're all having an awesome day i'm having an awesome day it feels great to be a horror fan so you guys today we're going to be talking about multiple horror updates such as scream 7 updates some nightmare on elm street talk and leprechaun getting a reboot you all so before we get started definitely smash the like button because it definitely helps so to get started touching on some stuff that robert england talked about in the comic book um interview comicbook.com interview now this right here is very interesting because he's talking about how he would like to see nightmare on elm street return and he touched on a lot of key points in this article in his interview with robert england so he says i certainly think that they should reboot a nightmare on elm street 3 dream warriors because 3 has a previously on nightmare on elm street since to it it reunites everybody and it is the fan favorite England shared with comicbook.com on how he could see the franchise being revived. I think if you took a poll or a vote, you would find out more people like Dream Warriors than any other film. It's a good script. The original script is the original script for that is terrific. And if you look at who wrote who if you look at who wrote it, those people have Oscars now. And then I would love to do a cameo in it. Maybe switch genders and play the Priscilla Pointer, Amy Irvin's mother role, the skeptical, cynical therapist who doesn't believe they're all having a common dream and a nightmare, a collective nightmare. I think that would be fun, a nice wink at the audience, which is very crazy to kind of touch on this. He's saying that he feels when, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street returns or if it does return, that he think they should continue off of Dream Warriors or actually do a reboot of Dream Warriors. Now, I love Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Warriors is actually my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street. And I agree. I like how, you know, the, the teens, their little story sticking together. They all, all have, like, these different powers kind of going against Freddy. Then you got Heather Landencamp in there, you know, and everything. And I think that it is very cool how Dream Warriors was set up. And it's by far the best Nightmare on Elm Street. Love Freddy Krueger's performance in that. Robert Anglin did such a great job as Freddy. You love the characters. It has by far one of the best openings in horror you gotta love Dream Warriors, and just off the fact that this is getting brought up, saying that you know which are ways that could Nightmare on Elm Street could come back, and Robert Anglin just saying Dream Warriors, and he's down to do a cameo in it, cause you know he's obviously saying he's not doing Freddy from previous videos we talked about. He's done with the character of Freddy, but he said he's down to do a cameo in it, and he's even saying he'll switch genders. That's very crazy. That'll be creepy as hell. So comment down below what you guys think about the Nightmare on Elm Street news. Also, to touch on some crazy news now this news is crazy now i know a lot of people you know are kind of like against the leprechaun franchise you, you know enjoy i love leprechaun i love warwick davis's leprechaun and i just enjoy the leprechaun films man it was, it was just one of those franchises that was fun growing up and we all enjoyed it so over on bloody disgusting it says lionsgate reviving the leprechaun franchise with the new movie from director philippi vargas saying there have been eight films in the Leprechaun franchise to date 2018's return, most recently heading back to the original movie's timeline. Mike Van Waz wrote the screenplay. Roy Lee is producing through Vertigo Entertainment. And they also said, you guys, that Warwick Davis is not expected to reprise his role, saying also 30 years after his debut, this franchise still cast a spell. And we're thrilled to be bringing it back in a new Vision. Aaron Westerman, president of production for Lionsgate Motion Picture Group, said in a statement, Roy and Murray are two of our most trusted producers, especially with this genre, and we're excited by Philippi's vision for a film as a director. In his hands, this movie should be very scary and tons of fun. So, look, we actually got, a, um, a few years ago, a Leprechaun Return, which, that was actually cool. I enjoyed it. You know, it kind of had the same roots as the original, and... I would love to see that guy come back. Um, I can't remember his name, but look, I'm going to tell you something. And it's another Leprechaun out there that completely almost killed this franchise. And it's Leprechaun Origins. It was just, it was not Leprechaun. It, was, it wasn't what we know. Even if Warwick Davis was in it, the storyline was just, you know, crazy. It was just crazy. That Nothing could fix that film. Like I said, even if they had Warwick Davis in that film, it would have been over for it. But um, it was just, you know you didn't like it but the return was great i liked it it was very cool it kind of stuck to the roots kind of continuing from the first leprechaun and it would be cool if they got jennifer ann as a cameo jennifer anderson and just kind of 
somehow, some way, pull Warwick in. We know that Warwick said he actually does not want to deal with horror movies, which is, you know, fair. I don't know if they reached out to Warwick or anything. They just said um, he's not expected to return to the Leprechaun um, franchise. But uh, it would be so cool to have Warwick in, man. I'm not trying to be funny or nothing. No one can capture that that look like Warwick Davis, that personality. You know, I just love the Leprechaun and the the, the things he said and the way he runs. He's just cool. He's he, I definitely have him high, you know, in, in horror for me. Just that whole franchise, Leprechaun, man, for sure. And we're it seems that we're going to get it back. I can't wait to see what they do with it and everything. And when we get more news, I'll cover it here for you guys. But I'm ready. We're getting the horror kicking up for us, guys. And like I said, they have to definitely continue off that story. Because I think that um, this kind of having like a sequel or just a whole full re reboot, for sure, I think would be cool. I think would be cool. But from my understanding, it seemed like they're going to actually be doing uh, either a reboot, kind of leaning towards a reboot. But we don't have too much news with it. They're just saying that Warwick Davis is not going to be back to reprise his role. But I know some Leprechaun fans out there like myself. So last but not least, touching on some Scream 7 news, Melissa Barrera. In an interview with um um, um in on me, it's an interview over on in on me, and this is very interesting. And she actually talks about you know Scream Seven. Now, Melissa says it will be great to see where Sam's story goes. There are so many places it can go, and I'm excited to see that. I don't want to say yes or no to a Scream Seven movie, although it feels as long as people want Scream Scream movies, they'll continue to exist. So what she's saying is. That she's not saying yes or no to a scream. She's not confirming anything. You know, she's just she's just like everyone else. But she says she would love to see where Sam's story goes. And you know, in a previous article, she also touched on with Collider how there's so many places where the character Sam can go. You know, such as you know, she's also a villain and a hero on the same. You know, boat. She's both of them. Now I love that because it's like she could turn on like a light switch. You know, Sam is not your ordinary final girl. She can. Go over to the ghost face side, the darker side with, you know, Billy Loomis' blood in her veins being her dad. And, you know, she's like she's getting darker and darker throughout these films. And I definitely agree with Melissa Barrera saying she would love to see where Sam's story goes. Because Sam, as a character, has so many volumes. And, you know, we only got a peak of it in um, Scream 6. So, yeah, you know, a lot of people out there saying that they heard things that Scream 7 is green lit, but it's not confirmed yet. You know, just trusted sources and everything. It's just not out. Um, in the horror community, but I'm pretty sure Scream 7 will come anytime soon. That I can't confirm or, you know, say. I don't know, but I definitely think a Scream 7 will come. And, um, yeah, you guys, comment down below what you think about everything we talked about. Nightmare on Elm Street, the Leprechaun franchise, and Scream 7. Unfortunately, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to hit me up on my social medias at I like Scary on Instagram, I like Scary underscore on TikTok, Brandon on Facebook, and I like Scary on Twitter. And right there where it says subscribe, next to it, click join to become a member of the channel. I want you all to watch some horror movies. Stay scary out there. I love you all. Peace.